Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm really excited because I am at a brand new racetrack in Tampa called the Motor Enclave. This is their second ever Cars and Coffee. With a long line getting to here, I'm very excited to show you all some of this stuff here because it looks pretty sick. Hey everybody, VoiceOver Spencer here. Before I get into the video, I just want to apologize for the audio quality in most of this video. I bought a new mic, which is a Rode Wireless Go 2, and I don't know if I programmed it correctly or placed it closer to my mouth or not, but the audio quality is not where I would like for it to be. So I do apologize, and if you all have any suggestions or feedback, feel free to comment that down below. I do appreciate your input, especially regarding the audio quality. Anyways, let's get back to the video. This is insane. Oh, that sounded uh, sounded nice. I love squeaky brakes, <laughs> not. So, this is actually part of the racetrack. You can see the apex uh, bumps, I guess you could call them, over there. Uh, and like, this is just like kind of where we're starting. There's plenty more up there. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is, this is really sick. All right, so I apologize for the music because, you know, copyright. But uh, let's start off with the heavy hitters. We got a 918 Spider here. I believe it's a non mysa car. We got a Huracan Storado coming in. I don't think we'll be able to cover everything because there's just so many cars, such different distances. We've got a roof, uh, OG Ford GT, a really cool spec on this 812. Ford GT, and we got 991.2 Targa, and then looks like a GT3 991.1. Oh, I gotta look at the back of this thing to see if I remember which one this is. I think this is an R32, R35, Huracan, Spider. Um, we got an R8. Oh yeah, there's a Senna here as well. Let me just look at this thing. This thing is insane. There's a Chiron in here. There's a Rimac Nevera. There's an Elva. It looks like the Chiron just started up. Oh, and then it just turned off. The Chiron has a very deep tone to it. Doesn't sound amazing, but in person, it's got a a presence to it. That it's a, it's a very commanding sound. Like you need to respect it if that makes sense. But speaking of sound, this car doesn't make any because it's fully electric. Um, I haven't really seen a, a Nevera in inside. And every single time I've seen one, I was just at an insane car show. It was always hot out, and there were just so many cars. But now that this is in here, I quite like how it looks. I feel like it doesn't quite look as special as like a Chiron, considering the price. But I mean, it's still insane. I'd love to maybe one day get a ride in one, or maybe even drive one, but <laughs> that I don't think will happen anytime soon. But it's good to dream about it. Also, nice color. So over here we have a Chiron. This is the car that just started up. Red on white with a, I guess a, is it white interior? Yeah, with the red. And it's got the, uh, I think it's called the sky roof thing. And even like the diamond cut wheels, this part, which is usually black on most cars, it's red. Uh, Gotti, they know how to spec a car. Is it my favorite? No, but it still looks pretty cool nonetheless. 
Speaking of specs though, look at this Elva. What a color. This thing is insane. Some people don't realize there's actually exhaust up here too. Um, <laughs> this thing would look so sick in the Middle East with this color. Um, and then we also have here a white Testarossa. This is probably as 80s as it gets. It's so nice. It's clean. So as you can see, there's a lot of motorcycle cops. I'm confused why, but then someone told me that this section over here is going on a rally. But the thing just started at 30 minutes, and so it seems like a lot of the big boys are going to be leaving. So let's get into it. Well, first off, we have an SL65. This you don't see very often. This has 621 horsepower, V12. Insane car, very kind of low key too. F12, fully murdered out, an Alpina Z8. I've said this in a couple of my videos when I see a Z8, but the Alpina was actually slower and has an automatic transmission. But I think it looks better with these wheels because I mean, Alpina always does really well with the wheels. Um, then we got this 765 over here, really unique spec, fully exposed carbon. It's kind of hard to see in this lighting. There, you see, it's got quite a unique interior as well. Okay, so this is the interior. It's very unique. I think it looks stunning. And uh, cool thing about the exhaust on this car, as you can see, it's a different color. That's because it's titanium, and when titanium heats up, it turns that color. Then we got an 812 Competizione in a very nice darker red. Um, I feel like I've, every 812 Competizione I've seen, they've just been insane unique specs and just look at this interior that is pretty cool i feel like that maybe wasn't manufactured the best but i guess it's a ferrari you know uh yeah this is sick this is so sick um then on the red theme we got a gran turismo could be the sir dolly thing I don't, I don't remember the trim of it and then over here we have a 750s it's got the Senna seats in it, and it's kind of got some 765 rear end kind of thing going on, but it's only got dual exhaust, and the 765 has quad exhaust. Then we got a, I think this is like a C2 or C1 Corvette. C7 Corvette, C5 or 4. C5 Corvette. Um, a Z06 convertible, a Bentley Continental Convertible, 488 GTB with the very desirable bucket seats, a Volcano Red 650S, GT3 992, I believe that's an R33 and an R32. Then we got F8, 458, 488, got a convertible Z06, 992. sorry, 991.2 Targa, probably is a 4S, but this is something that I'm very interested in. The yellow Ford GT. This is absolutely gorgeous. Not very common to see yellow on a Ford GT, but it is sick. I mean, just look at the interior. Just look at that engine. That is beautiful right there. Um, we got an STO, a Boxster, probably a, oh, it's a GTS. A12 GTS. Um, F8 Spider, Ventador S, another Z06, looks like a Flying Spur, and I think this is a C8, a Con, and, oh, one of my favorite Porsches at the moment, a GT4 RS, hot take, I'd take this over a GT3, just because of that insane engine sound through that carbon fiber airbox in the cabin.
So the owner decided to open up the Koenigsegg. And I mean, like, it's just as much as a work of art with everything opened as everything closed. It's just, the level of attention to detail in this car is insane. I feel like Koenigsegg and Pagani do this stuff best. They're carbon fiber. I mean, this is like a work of art. Insanely stunning. Just look at this interior. And look at this carbon fiber door sill. I'm telling you, bro, I would straight raw dog this car if I could. Sorry. Sorry. I so this is another section that is not getting as much attention. But there's some pretty cool stuff over here. I mean, it's definitely not the hyper cars. I have genuinely no idea what this is. But I do think it looks cool. Could this be a, a Scari, maybe? So remember, a Scari made some stuff, GTM. I have no idea what this is. So in the comment section down below, let me know. It's got, look at this Vantage here. This is beautiful, oh my gosh. I'll take it. <laughs> M3 in Isle of Man green. I'm gonna cover the grill because I've rented about it way too much. Supra in E93 M3, AMG GTS. And uh, I'm going to head this way. So because this is a racetrack, you have the high guardrails, and I'm literally walking on the track. These are the apex bumps right here. It's pretty cool. So we got an RS5, C7, new BRZ, ZL1, but next to this Type R is a 992 GT3 RS. Not exactly sure what color, my guess is that it's guards red, but red and gold can look amazing. Well, that's a, that S2000, it's got a hood delete. IS, is this a 500? It is. These things have an amazing sounding engine. And like, I feel like they're a little too expensive now, but dude, once those appreci depreciate, oh, that's gonna be a great buy because they're so reliable. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm trying not to go too in depth because this video is just gonna be like two hours long. A car that I think is probably one of my favorite BMWs, it's an M6 Grand Coupe. This color, first off, is beautiful. That sounds really good. But I mean, the rear on this thing in Grand Coupe form is just be, oh, love this thing, really like it. I I'll take one as a daily, I mean, this is also beautiful. Perfect spec on this. This thing just looks so badass. Got a couple of 911s here. Turbo S, this thing just smokes everything. Got a GTR Cayman. Oh, this GT3 is loud. Ooh. Ooh, yellow looks really good on the 911. I like that a lot. And then we got the clown shoe here. Love these things, have a massive soft spot. Is it beautiful? I'm not sure, but I love it. I mean, this lineup ain't too shabby, that's for sure. And then for those who have watched some of my other videos, the STO, I have a huge soft spot for this. Got a chance to drive one of those in Italy, and like it was a dream come true. But I, I love this thing. Another M3. Oh, sorry, M4. Uh, 720S. Looks like a 428 or 430. Yeah, 430. Mustang. Looks like a Carrera Carrera S or 4S with the Aero Kit, like my friend Sean's car. Um, and then we got a Cybertruck here. This thing is just insane looking. Ooh, CT5V Blackwing. Nice color too. I mean, I've said this multiple times, but this thing is just, I've never seen anything like it in my life. And I don't think I've ever seen a car that gets more attention than a Cybertruck. Like, if you pulled up to a nice restaurant and a Cybertruck pulled up and a Regera sh showed up, 
I guarantee you the Cybertruck would probably get more attention. It's just insane looking. Okay, so this is, I'd say, more like the spectator lot. So I'm gonna go down over here, check out some other cars. We got a GTR, no, it is just a GT, but it has like the DTR Pro uh, stripe on it. Got a 992 with the Aero Pack. This is literally like Sean's car, but in black. And then we got an F10 M5. These wheels are absolutely gorgeous. They suit the car perfectly. I think people sleep on the F10, but I love them. They look fantastic. Yeah. You got a couple stingers over here. Underrated car. I love these things. They're a lot of fun. Brand new M2. It's got an exhaust on it. Got a Tycon. I have no idea what trim it is because it's debadged. I just kind of want to put it into scale how like vastly spread out this car show is. So you got like the spectator lot over here and like I was all the way over there. And so I got to walk this entire distance to go over there. So like if you ever are going to go to this show in the future, I recommend getting here pretty early because there's just a lot to see. And uh, if you are going to be in the spectator lot, it's going to be super duper far back. Now I could be completely wrong here, but I think this section was filled with cars. But because I decided to go through here, I missed them. Ah, don't we all love when that happens? But I think all the cars that were driving past me were in this section. The only section I didn't check out was this, this little part over there. And there's still some stuff up here. But this is so cool. I mean, like a new racetrack, that doesn't come out very often. The pit lanes, they're really, really cool. Uh, they almost kind of look like brutalist architecture houses with the, the rectangles with the four dots on them and then those balconies with the wiring on it. So over here, it looks like these are car dealerships. They just have their demo cars. It looks like you could check some of them out. Um, we got a 488, Turbo S, I think that's a Carrera 4S, some Cadillacs, M4 convertible. I forget which edition of this 911 is, but it's the burgundy one with the like tan interior. I was kind of ranting about this car in one of my other videos. I like to complain and rant a lot, I guess. Oh well. Uh, all jokes aside, in the sun, that red does pop. And then we got the new Gran Turismo convertible or whatever, I don't know, was some music playing in the background, but this is a Urus S, I believe. Z06, Stingray, 992 GT3, then there's that uh, Targa 911, an M4 convertible. I think it's a comp as well. Um, I'm gonna head back over there, and then uh, I think I've covered everything. So, I so for whatever reason, I didn't even see this. It might be a V12 SL, don't know. GT500, bunch of Lambos here. We got an Evo Spider, an Aventador Roadster. I think I've actually met the owner of this car and I think he let me sit in this exact car. I could be wrong. Cool guy though. Yeah, I think it could, I think it is. I'll pop up the picture here and it'll probably have the Instagram tag on there. We got a LP580-2 Spider, another LP580-2 Spider and then a Rolls Royce Ghost and a C8. And a Model 3, or as some people like to refer to it as an appliance. Now, a lot of these cars are starting up. I think this is a rally that they're participating on. This would be a sick daily, by the way. I think the Regera is starting up. There's too many people. And this is going to be police escorted with all these motorcycle cops. Kind of reminds me of uh, when I did the toy rally. Uh, that is always a lot of fun when we're completely police escorted. I feel bad though for like ruining people's days and maybe making people late for things. But you do really feel like a celebrity in that scenario. And well, they're heading out. That's fire. That's so sick, bro. That's badass as fuck. All right, they're heading out.
That's so sick, bro. Imagine getting pulled over by one of those. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I don't think this is stock. Exhaust. All right, there it goes. SL65, F12, Z8, and has an automatic. There's the competition right there. It's like a dark red. Look at that 765 in the sun. That's stunning. Grab it! Sounds incredible. It sounds like a 458 and then it, it sounds better than that. Goes the Volcano Red 650, GT3. Yeah. It's pretty sick. I love it! That thing is loud. <laughs> I don't even think that thing's road legal, but my God, does that sound good. Everyone's run in to see it. Wonder if he's gonna floor it over there. Shout out to the Motor Enclave for giving us a shuttle ride back. Because that walk is it's quite a long one. Well, I am back at my car now. I actually washed it two days ago, and so this red in the sun right now looks phenomenal. But this was an amazing event, very unique. I have never really done anything like this on a racetrack. Definitely uh, very sectioned off and definitely long walks, just to note that. And also the lines can be crazy, so I do recommend getting here really early. But I mean, things could change. This is only their second ever Cars and Coffee. And considering that, I think they did a pretty good job because sometimes there's a lot of growing pains with certain things, but this seems like it was pretty well done. So I'd like to thank the Motor Enclave for hosting this amazing event, and I will see you all in the next video.